Hello there, this is Juan Carlos Gonzalez in Office Apps and Services MVP. First of all, I hope you, all of you are okay. And now I'm going to introduce you the topic of today's video. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you how we can uh, customize meeting images in a global way by means of the Teams Admin Center. In this way, we can add uh, custom images to be used by our corporate users in uh, Teams meetings. So let's go to the point. So first things first, you need to know first that in order to be able to upload custom images to be used in Microsoft Teams meetings, you need to uh, upload your Office 365 subscription to have uh, the Advanced Communications Teams add-on. That's a commercial add-on that you can easily add to um, any of your Office 365 subscription brand. And indeed, if you want to try it first, you can uh, just take advantage of the 180 days trial that Microsoft offers today. Indeed, this is what I have done. As you can see here, I have already the advanced communication add-on for Microsoft Teams that provides me with a trial of uh, 180 days and um, 25 licenses that I can assign to my users. Indeed, I have already done so for five users. One of the users is a global admin. Um, uh, if this is also going to work for the Teams admin. So that means that when I go to the uh, Teams admin center and I click on meetings, meeting policies, I'm going to see this customized meeting images button. If I click here, is where all the magic happens. As you can see here, first thing is that you have a switch that allows you to uh, enable the use of custom backgrounds for Microsoft Teams meetings at the global uh, level. Uh, I have already uh, done this, so this is on. Um, here you have a list of uh, custom backgrounds I have already uploaded to, uh, to Teams. As you can see here, um, I can see the resolution of, a, of a, every background. I can see also the thumbnail of the background. And most importantly, here I can add custom backgrounds. When I do that, I'm going to see a side panel where I have current background images and I can click again on that so I can upload any custom background I, can, I want to use. For instance, I'm going to, I'm going to upload this background related to, I think it's Windows XP. I'm going to click on open. So the new background is over here. And I'm going to select also one of the nice Microsoft Viva background. So for instance, this one. Once I'm done, I can close this Managing Backgrounds side panel. And next thing is just to save my changes. So I'm going to click on Save. And uh, you must be aware of that uh, these new backgrounds are not going to be immediately available for users. You need some time until the policy updates propagate to the backend. And uh, lucky of me, I was playing with these new features yesterday. So uh, these three backgrounds are already in place and these three are not going to be there, but you can uh, figure out how this is going to work. So now what I'm going to do is just to go to my Teams desktop client and I'm going to start a new meeting. I can just schedule a new meeting or just use the meet now feature. I'm going to use this last one. So I'm going to click on meet now, start meeting. Here I am. And now I can decide to use any of the corporate backgrounds I have allowed in a global way. So hello. So I'm going to click on background filters. And as you can see here, I, I have only the three first background I explained to you. I allowed it yesterday because it takes I think it's a couple of hours, but this is not uh, documented. Uh, just to propagate the updates you uh, have done in the uh, with the backgrounds that you have allowed in the Teams Admin Center, but obviously you are not seeing the back corporate backgrounds I have just added. Indeed, they are missed. But as I say, it's going to take uh, some time. Um, yeah, at this point, I can choose any of these uh, global corporate backgrounds and use in my team meeting, in my team's meeting. Sorry, and one of the side if one of the issues I have found is that it's not possible to change the uh, tooltip you are going to see when uh, doing mouse over or uh, mouse over in these backgrounds. So as you can see here, the tooltip use is just the name of the file. That is not very user friendly. So it would be nice, and uh, yeah, I guess this is something that Microsoft Teams team is going to have and get feedback about. It would be nice to be able to, for a selected background, for instance, this one, just not only to have the possibility to delete, but also to update some details such as the tooltip, for instance. 
but this is something we don't have now. Uh, another side effect that is not a problem of the, this advanced communication add-on, uh, this feature is that, as you can see here, uh, the background uh, I'm using here is actually corporate background of my current company, Draco, and it's not uh, being displayed in the way it should be displayed. Um, um, I don't know the reason why, but uh, apparently Teams has done a kind of mirroring of the image. So that's the reason why uh, this, the test on top, uh, it looks, yeah, it is not looking well. Sorry for that. But yeah, it's a side effect. I have to try to report this. I think it's, this is an, maybe this is an known issue. I was not aware of, uh, until now, but I hope the team will fix soon this. And that's all what I have for today. Uh, yeah, I hope you have found the, this video useful. Uh, please stay, fair, stay safe, uh, take care, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel just in case you want to be aware of any new content I publish in my YouTube channel. Um, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.